Well, the ultimate HBCU experience is happening right here in Mobile. The Jackson State Tigers will battle it out against the Alabama A&M Bulldogs of the Southwestern Athletic Conference at Ladd People Stadium tomorrow. NBC 15's Emily Pounds was at today's Gulf Coast Challenge luncheon where Coach Prime spoke to athletes about the importance of this weekend. Emily, he says it's not all about who wins. That's right. Coach Prime says it's all it's so important for players to come together as one. This is a time for unity for all of us because I don't think you understand what's before us. And instead of fighting one another, we need to unite one another and help one another. Strong words today from Jackson State University's head football coach, primetime Deion Sanders. In the two years Sanders has coached at JSU, he brought a lot of attention to not just his school, but historically black colleges and universities across the country that have struggled financially over the past few decades, many losing athletes and students to predominantly white institutions. It makes us feel humble. It makes us feel very, very grateful for how far we've come to where we used to be. He's doing great things, obviously, for our university, but he is doing a wonderful work in highlighting and spotlighting the importance of HBCUs across the country. As the 9-0 Jackson State Tigers gear up to take on the 3-6 Alabama A&M Bulldogs Saturday at this year's Gulf Coast Challenge, alumni say it may be a battle on the field, but off the field, it's a show of unity. Seeing all of these black young men come together as one, and be united in one room together, it's really amazing to see. We uh, know the importance of HBCUs and the culture and sharing that culture here in the city of Mobile means a lot to us. Kickoff is tomorrow at four at Loud People's Stadium. Reporting live in Mardi Gras Park, Emily Pounds, NBC 15 News.